AITP is here today in Los Angeles with uh, Gabe Watson and his band, Native June. Welcome, Gabe. It's good to be here. The band started in 2006. Mm -hmm. It was a completely different lineup mm -hmm. um, with three other guys who became really good, great friends of mine. And mm -hmm. we went on, we played for five or six years together in that one lineup. But we didn't really know what we were doing. All we knew, we all met on Craigslist, <laughs> which I've met a lot of musicians on Craigslist yeah. here. It's, it's saved Happens my life. In this town. I met Anton on Craigslist. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And actually, I met Marcel on Craigslist. Funny. So we're kind of a Craigslist band. Uh huh. <laughs> to get back to my point, <laughs> we met online and, yeah, okay, and, we, okay. and we started rehearsing. I had a job being a, an assistant for a Greek film producer. He had a mansion in Hollywood. He lived in Greece. And he would go to bed at 2 p.m. So after 2 p.m., I told the bandmates they can come over to the mansion and we can practice in the back patio, which is nothing but wicker furniture, ferns, and mirrors, mirror window shades, and pink carpet. Let me, let me emphasize the pink carpet. So the band started in a very odd situation that we were sneaking into a mansion and rehearsing and writing songs. Crazy. So then we recorded our first album in Compton, um, which was... It was kind of an oddity for uh, you know, <laughs> yeah, four white boys in the middle of, yeah. of Compton, California. There's a rich rock band, barber shops on each side, and uh, we recorded our first album called Whiskey and Walnuts, uh -huh. which is available on iTunes, of course. Hey. We recorded the second album downtown Los Angeles, and I sang in a closet. I sang in a closet and um, the whole band played in the living room. Mm -hmm. So we recorded 12, 13 tracks for the album. After the album was finished, two of the members left the band. Mm -hmm. and that's when I met Marcel. Right. Marcel joined the band. So I play guitar. Um, grew up in France. I played, uh, started playing guitar when I was six years old. Uh, my dad was a guitar player um, and his brother too, so my uncle. So it's a pretty musical family. And it's all about rock and roll. Uh, uh -huh. So that's all I was uh, allowed to listen to in the American household. American rock you know? and roll? Yeah, English, rock and roll. American, you know, uh -huh. yeah. Um, guitar driven, you know, the blues, the rock, uh, the Rolling Stones, all that good stuff, you know. Uh, whenever I was listening to something else, my brother would just, uh, you know, like shut me off right away. So <laughs> you know, that's pretty much how I got my musical education. Uh, uh, but I'll go ahead and introduce the guy on my left. His name's Anton. Let's see, I, I was born in the Philippines, uh, and I moved to the U.S. when I was six, um, and I picked up the guitar at about 13. Uh, my older brother, Andrew, picked it up before me, and just, I got intrigued by it, and while all my friends were real into sports, that's kind of how I started playing uh, guitar, and then they needed a bass player, so I picked up bass, um, and currently I play uh, Warwick, mm -hmm. uh, double buck Corvette. Nice. Uh, that's what I play in the group. I've had that for about maybe five years now. Mm -hmm. 